first thing most of us think about when we think about Peru is Machu Picchu. That great archaeological site created by the Incas. These people built this very complex city and areas of worship in the middle of nowhere with these huge carved granite rocks that just fit together perfectly. It's, it's an amazing architecture and it's a vast complex and it is so well restored. And if you can, if you choose to, get into the site as early as you possibly can and just sit on some of these rocks and imagine what life must have been like when the Incas were thriving there. Your imagination will go wild. I've never, never, ever been to an archaeological site that was nearly as inspiring as Machu Picchu. I've never seen uh, faces of mountains like that. They deal with light in a very interesting way. And the clouds that go by, you could not help but think of this as a spiritual place. There's no question Machu Picchu is a magnificent place to visit. However, I think what people don't fully realize is that Peru is way, way more than that. One of the things I've always found most fascinating about Cusco and the surrounding region is that it's a living history, it's a living culture. There are still millions of people that speak Quechua as a first language in the Andes today. People still practicing their traditional beliefs, their uh, traditional lifestyles, their social organization. It's all, all very much present uh, as a living way of life in the Andes. It's not just stones and ruins, it's culture. Unless you get down into the market area and the common area, part of the city, you really don't understand it or understand the people. So we've spent a lot of time today wandering the streets and talking to the people in the shops. What was important about this piece for me was that I met the person who did it. When I have this in my house, I will think of you. See. Peru has some of the most extraordinary food you'll ever have. It certainly is the most diverse in South America. The, the Inca civilization itself was in part um, focused on food and production and feeding the population um, and, and that part of history seems to have uh, been continued into the present day, uh, which has convinced me at least that when I get back home I need to do a better job of tracking down some Peruvian restaurants locally. It's just absolutely beautiful. The food is wonderful. The ease at which Lundblad, I don't think I could put a trip together like this. Um, I mean, we didn't have to worry about anything. Everything was taken care of. We've been exposed to the culture, uh, both current day and historical, and I think the Lindblad folks have done a great job of giving us that opportunity, so uh, we've been able to learn a lot more about the country itself. The mountains, the scenery, the crafts, the people, the valleys, it is just a magnificent country. Mm -hmm.